everybody! Welcome to the Jada and Stitches Show. It's time for another crochet quick fix! So, let's grab our hooks, grab our yarn, head on over to the craft table, and let's stitch it up together! <laughs> we are going to make this lovely textured pretty little dishcloth. This is the falling leaf stitch, which will be familiar to anyone who made the Victorian stitch sampler along with us. It's definitely one of my favorite stitches to come out of that project. It's got a gorgeous texture, it's really really pretty to look at, and it makes a wonderful dishcloth or even washcloth. Really really pretty. You're going to want a 100% cotton yarn for this project. Size 4, medium weight, approximately 50 grams, maybe a little bit more, around 85 to 90 yards, more if you're a loose crocheter. You're going to want a pair of scissors, a yarn needle, and the hook we're using is a 5.5 millimeter, also known as an I or a 9 in the US, a size 5 in the UK. And if you haven't already subscribed, click that button and the bell so you never miss another quick fix. And once you've got all that together, we can get started. This stitch pattern can be worked over any foundation chain that is a multiple of three plus two extra chains on the end. So to make our dishcloth today, we're going to begin with a slip knot, and we're going to chain 26 to begin. Once you have 26 chains, try not to twist your foundation chain row. We're going to skip over the first chain from the hook, find the second, and we're going to single crochet in it to begin. Into that same chain, we're going to work two double crochet as well. So don't move away from that first chain. You're going to work a single crochet and two double crochet into the same chain. So you're going to have something that looks like this. That's what you should have. We're going to skip two chains, find the third, and do the same thing into it. Single crochet and two double crochet all worked into the same chain. And that's what you've got now. Skip two chains, find the third, and repeat. Single crochet and two double crochets. You're going to repeat this all the way across. So you work a single crochet and two double crochets into every third chain. And you should have eight of these cute little bunches, or leaves, once you get to the end of the row. You should have eight of these little leaves so far, and as you get to the end of the row, you skip your last two chains, and you single crochet into the last chain. So you're not going to work a leaf into the last chain. You're just going to work a single crochet into it. So you have eight leaves, you skip the last two chains, and you single crochet into the last chain. That is your pattern foundation. So you've got eight leaves and an extra single crochet on the end. Every row begins with a chain one turn, or you could look at it like every row ends with a chain one turn, and you begin the exact same stitch pattern right away. So into that single crochet that you finished off the last row with, you single crochet and work two double crochets right into the same stitch. So you're beginning with the same little pattern, single crochet, two double crochets, right off the bat. You skip two stitches, find the third, and it should always be the single crochet. So the two doubles, you skip over, you find the third, that's the single crochet from the row before, and you repeat. Single crochet, two double crochet, into the same stitch. So you're working the exact same little leaf pattern, but you're going in the opposite direction. Skip two stitches, they both happen to be the doubles, double crochet from the previous row. Find the third, it'll be the little single crochet, and work single crochet, two double crochets into the same stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way across, and I'll catch up with you at the end of row two. When you're nearing the end of row two, you should have eight little leaves 
in this row as well. So you've got eight little leaves worked into the single crochets of the row before. You get to your last leaf from the previous row, you skip two stitches, find the single crochet, and you're just going to single crochet into it. So remember, the row ends with just a single crochet. You don't work a leaf into the last stitch. So you work your eighth leaf, single crochet into the last stitch, and that's it. That's row two. Every row should have eight little leaf clusters in it, and every row will end with a single crochet. You will always chain one and turn, and you will always begin your first leaf right here, right in that single crochet that you finished the last row with. Then you repeat the same thing. So what you did in row two, you're going to repeat all the way across. You finish your first sort of leaf in that single crochet that begins the row, hop over two stitches to the next little stitch, which will be a single crochet, work single crochet, two double crochets into it, the little leaf pattern. Continue that all the way across, you'll have eight leaves. Single crochet in the last stitch, chain one, and turn. You're going to repeat this for a total of 16 rows. So you're going to have 16 rows, each row will have eight leaves in it, every row ends with a single crochet, every row ends with a chain one turn, and you start that first leaf in the very first stitch. All right. I'll see you at the end of row 16. 16 rows should look something like this, almost a perfect square, and this is how you count them. So you look for the little bumps that go one way and then the other, so they kind of look like they're doing this. You go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So remember they kind of, they tessellate into one another. So when you're counting your rows, make sure you don't confuse two rows for one. Once we've worked 16 rows, it's time to work a border. So we're going to chain one and turn just as though we would if we were working a regular row across the top of our dishcloth. And we're going to start with a corner. So we're going to work our first leaf into that first stitch like we normally would. So a single crochet followed by two double crochets in the same place. We're going to chain one and into that same stitch we're going to work another little leaf. Single crochet, two double crochets. This is going to give us a corner and this is how we're going to treat every corner on our little dishcloth. It's a little bit crowded but it'll all fit and you should have something that looks like that when you're done. Now you're just going to skip across the top of your dishcloth doing the same little pattern that you've been doing all along. So skip two stitches, find the third, that'll probably be, it should be, <laughs> a single crochet from the previous row. Work a leaf into it, work that typical little pattern all the way across and I'll catch up with you at the other corner. Alright, you've worked all the way across, you're nearing the end of that row and you would normally just work a single crochet into that last stitch and turn, but we're working all in the same direction for our border. So we're going to work a leaf, so a single crochet followed by two double crochets into that last stitch. Single crochet and then one more leaf into that same stitch. So again, kind of crowded real estate, but it's all going to fit. All right, and that helps us turn the corner. So I'm just going to pull up on my, my loop here. So there's the corner we began with. We worked all the way across the top. Now we have like a neat little corner heading down our first side. We're going to work a little leaf into each of the little spaces evenly down the side of our dishcloth. Now I know it might be a little bit tricky to see, so I'm going to walk you through the first ones. You can kind of see where the natural divots are. You sort of are hopping over top of the side of a leaf. So we've just worked one. We're going to not use this big space here. We're going to use this little space next to it. We're going to work a leaf. So single crochet, two double crochets into that little space along the side of our cloth.
and then you look for the same thing. You hop over and you find the same little space, not the big one, the little one next to it. Little space in that divot and you work a single crochet and two double crochets. So you want to evenly space about, you're probably going to have the same number going down the sides of your cloth as you have across the top. So for example, if you have eight leaves, so forget the one on either side, but if you have eight leaves plus the one in the corner, so nine running across the top, you should have the same thing running across the side. But just look for the natural little divot. Don't use the big space, use the little space next to it. Just work that little stitch. You want to evenly space your little leaves all the way down the side. They'll lay flat. That's how you know you're evenly spacing them. And I'll catch up with you at the other corner. I've got eight little leaves running down the side edge of my dishcloth so far. I'm about to put the ninth one in the bottom stitch, which will also turn into a corner. So when you've arrived at the bottom, this is your foundation chain row down here. So what you want to do is, if you've still got your little tail hanging around, pull up on it. You see that stitch there or that chain? You're going to work your little leaf, chain one, little leaf into that chain, sort of that chain that's made larger by pulling up on your little short tail. And if you want to, you can even work over top of that little short tail. That's what I'm going to do. And that just weaves it in so you don't have to think about it at the end. So into that space, that chain, you're going to work a little leaf, chain one, and a little leaf into that same place. Now we're working across the bottom and it's a lot easier to see um, across the bottom where to put your little leaves than it is maybe going down the side. So all you have to do is find this, the chain that your leaf built on row one is built into and just use that. So it's a nice big space. Now you can use that space, you can use the space right next to it if you want to, or I should say the chain. It's up to you, but I find this is an easy way to kind of quickly zip across the bottom, working a little leaf into the bottom of the little leaves in row one. You'll have eight little leaves, including your corner one, running across the bottom, which will bring you up to your last corner where you're going to work your ninth. So into that corner chain, and that should be where the last leaf was worked in row one, right at the bottom corner there, work a leaf, chain one, and another leaf all into that same little corner space. And now we're working up the other side. Same thing, you can sort of see the natural bumps. One, two, three. You want to work into the little divot that's created. So there's a bump. Here's the little divot in between. You can grab the smaller of the, sti the spaces, not the big one, the little one, and work your little leaves into the smaller spaces. Same thing, you're going to have eight, including the corner one, running up this side, and then you're going to join to what is the ninth, little leaf up at the top because we created that leaf before we started doing our border. So I'm just going to work eight evenly spaced, including the one you already made in the corner, all the way up and we're going to join to the ninth when we get up there. So including the corner leaf, that's eight all the way up the last side. We're going to join with a slip stitch to the first little single crochet that started the first little leaf right here. So you've got, there's your chain, your two doubles, and there's your little single. It might be kind of hard to see, but you're just going to join with a slip stitch to the side of it. And we're almost done. We want to add a little hanger. So we're going to slip stitch across the two double crochets that made up that first little leaf. And we're going to slip stitch into the space between those two leaves in the corner. So you're right in between the two. We're going to chain 12. A 
And then we're going to bring our hook back down into that space between the two leaves. And we're going to slip stitch. And we've made a nice little hanger in a tight little area. So we're going to trim our yarn now. So we're not interfering with the shape of our corner. We're just working a little hanger into it. And now you can grab your yarn needle, take that short tail, and if you still have a little bit of your other short tail hanging out, weave them in across the backs of some of these stitches. So you've got stitches that run all the way along your border row. And cotton is pretty grabby, so if you weave it first one way and then hop over top of one of those little stitches and weave it back through a bunch of the same stitches and then if you have enough left over maybe back a third time it should not want to come out on you. So take a moment make sure you're not pulling it out of the alignment and then just weave that little bit that's left in. And there you go! A lovely, pretty little dishcloth made using the falling leaf stitch. I just love it. I love that simple little ruffled edge that it gives it. You only need to add one little row of border and then a few chains in the corner and you've even got a way to hang it. I hope you guys enjoyed making this sweet and pretty little dishcloth along with us today and we will see you soon here on the Jaden Stitches Show. Until then, stay safe, stay crafty, and have an awesome week everybody. Bye! Hi everybody, Mr. and Stitches here. Thank you for watching today. Here are some of our other videos you might be interested in. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe.